This is one of the many backup generators found in Six Flags. If the power were ever to go out, this diesel power generator would take over, spin the turbines within it, much like this model, which creates the electricity required by the lights and other systems. Now we've seen the importance of flipping the current. It's necessary to flip the current if we want to maintain the coil's motion in one direction. Now the purpose or the device that does that is the commutator. And the purpose of the commutator is to flip the current. Now that's easily seen on both motors, but I want to start with this one. Okay, on the little green motor right here, here is the commutator right there. Okay, now you can see that there are brakes in, in the two plates. Now the brakes are oriented symmetrically so that when this brush is ready to hit the brake, hit the, the brake between the two plates, so is this brush on this side. And now the poles have switched. Okay, so the poles have switched between these two currents, between these two poles, and you now have flipped the current. Now we can also see that on the big motor. Okay, if we use the big motor here, okay, the only way it's going in the same direction is the fact that the current is switching. And here is where it is switching. Here's one plate, here's another plate. This is the high potential, this is the low potential. And you can see the break between the plates. Now when the, when the torque, this is where the torque is maximum, Okay, the torque is still present, so it's st there's still a torque in here, although the moment arm is decreasing, and it, re it gets to a point where it has zero torque. At this point, right here, where there's no more torque, is where the flip occurs. Okay, and you can see that the commutator is split, the split ring, these are called split rings, okay, the, the ring split occurs right on top, so that when the, when the coil carries over just a little bit, it is now on the other plate. What was negative before is now positive. What was at the low potential is now at the high potential. So the whole point of the commutator is to flip those currents. Now, there are three major engineering decisions that had to be made to see that a motor actually does something for us and is useful for us. Okay, engineering decision number one was recognizing that the current from physics needed to be flipped to continue that rotation. So the engineering was, how do you make the current flip? Well, we can see the engineering in the commutator. The commutator has two brushes that ride alongside it, and we see that they break when the necessary current needs to be flipped, when the current is at the point where it needs to be flipped. Okay. Now, a couple more things here that are incredibly important. On to decision number two. Recognize, back to our coil here briefly. Okay, let's see here, we, were, we, had the, we have the coil coming down here, and let's talk about this diagram right here. We recognize that the current is into the board. Well, if the current is in, or excuse me, excuse me, I said that incorrectly. The current is out of the board because we flipped the current. So now the current is coming out at you. Well, according to our right hand rule, we see a north pole coming up through the coil. So if the coil is in this direction, this is a north pole. Well, in the presence of, okay, although we have, we flipped the current, although we flipped the current here, that, and, and, and therefore there's a torque being produced clockwise, we still have a north pole acting. Now that north pole is going to interact with this external north pole. So although we have, uh, current carrying wire producing a magnetic force, which in turn produces a torque. We have a torque in one direction, but a magnetic repulsion in the other. So this north pole and the north pole induced by the current carrying wire are going to oppose each other, trying to fling this wire away. All right, so that's not good. Okay, so how do we overcome that? Well, one way we could overcome it is take these permanent magnets and really quickly Flip them. What if we were able to make this very quickly a south pole and this very quickly a north pole? Well, that means someone's got to flip the permanent magnets. You know, flip, 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 okay? 
who's going to do that? Okay, and as you've seen, the motors move pretty quickly, so how do you flip those magnets? Well, you know what? We don't use permanent magnets. We can flip. What if instead of permanent magnets, we used an electromagnet, a solenoid? Then, to flip the poles of the magnet, all we have to do is flip the current. And in there is engineering decision number two. Now, you can see on our two motors here, you can see on our two motors here, and let's go to the green one. Each of them has an electromagnet. Now, what I really want you to see on this, on this motor right here, because it's most clearly identified as the circuit here, Okay, we have the high potential going to this point, so this is the high and the low to the rotor, okay, and then this point becomes the high and the low to the solenoid, okay, the electromagnet. So what we see here is that the power supply is hooking, being hooked in series with the rotor and the electromagnet. So whenever the rotor or whenever the commutator flips its current in the rotor, it flips, its, it flips the current in the electromagnet okay and that so so when we assume the instant that we get the instant that we get to this point the commutator flips the current okay from going into the board to out of the board and at that same instant we see a switch of the south and the north poles so that we have now a an attraction of the current we already established the current to be in the north pole going this way and with the electromagnet switching poles, this becomes a south. And now, not only are we make, taking advantage of these magnetic forces and the torques causing rotation, we also see a magnetic attraction between the induced magnetic field and the external magnetic field. Ah, totally cool. Totally, totally cool. So we're seeing how the physics plays out in making engineering decisions. Now, I said there were three decisions to be made. The first one was to flip the current in the coil so that we could continue the direction of rotation. The second one was to flip the current simultaneously so that we get the electromagnets switching as well. The third decision has to be with regards to the orientation between this motor and its coils and this motor and its coils. So let's talk now about how these two are different. They both have electromagnets, they both have commutators, but these two motors are fundamentally different, not even fundamentally, they're different in one way. This one has a single rotor, this one has a double rotor. Why? That leads us to engineering decision number three.